see anything, crew? Nope, not yet. It is pretty dark out there. You know you're right, Captain. Why don't we just head back to the octopod and then... Whoa! Something's upset them. <gasps> what was that? That's it. That's the thunk I thunk I heard when I saw the spider run. I think. Activate microphone, Peso. Let's listen and see if we can figure out where that sound is coming from. Captain, it's coming from over there. We're getting closer. Closer. Whatever it is, Captain, it should be right here. It's the spider! Hello out there. We mean you no harm. We are the Octonauts. And one of us doesn't like spiders. Who are you? And why are you grabbing our guff? Oh, I'm sorry. I wanted to say hello. I am a spider. I knew it. I knew it was a spider. Amanda Kim and Twimpy alive. Crab. Huh? Excuse me. You're a what? A spider crab. A giant spider crab, to be exact. Of course. A giant spider crab. I should have known. So you're not a scary spider? Eh? Oh, no. I just look like one. I'm really a crab. <sighs> the largest crab in the entire ocean with many, many legs. Fascinating. Yes, I have eight legs and two pincer arms. Pincer arms? They help me to move around and grab things to eat. Ouch! What's wrong, Mr. Giant Spider Crab? Oh, there's something stuck to one of my legs. Oh, Ouch. no! It's a giant clam. Oh, it's very heavy. And noisy. So that's what that scary thunk, thunk, thunk noise was. It looks painful. We're coming out right now to help you. Right, Quasi? Right, Captain. Oh. <laughs> this clam is shut tight. I've seen this before. When clams get stepped on, they close up to protect themselves. It's nearly impossible to pry them open. Huh. This could take a while. Um, why do these things always happen when I'm in a hurry? What's the rush? I'm trying to get to a birthday party. Whose birthday is it? Mine! My children and grandchildren are having a great big party for me. I'm a hundred years old today. A hundred years old? Shiver me whiskers. Oh, yes. We spider crabs can live for years and years, long enough to meet many of our grandchildren. I just hope I get to see mine today. That's enough! I drill a tiny hole into the sick coral. Here you go. A piece of coral. Perfect. Now, I'll put this piece of healthy coral into the hole and... There! That's a coral transplant. The piece of healthy coral will help make the sick coral better. Look! Great! We've saved a coral reef and just in time for lunch. I don't think so, Quasi. Look at all those white spots. I'm going to have to do a lot more coral transplants to make this reef healthy again. And we're going to help you. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, the coral reef is sick. Our mission is to help Peso do as many coral transplants as it takes to make it healthy again. But the coral reef is huge. What's the plan? Dashi, you, Quasi and Tunip will search for healthy pieces of coral on the sea floor. Shellington and Professor Inkling will sort through them to find the healthiest ones. Then Tweak and I will drill tiny holes in the reef and Peso will put the coral pieces into the holes. Now, everybody got it? Got, got it. it! Octonauts, let's do this. 
If we all work together, the reef will be healthy again in no time. <laughs> Aha! Another piece of coral. Ah, just a sea sponge. Oh! Spiky sea urchin! <laughs> Sorry, little urchin. These coral pieces are harder to find than I thought. What was that? <laughs> huh? hm. Someone's playing a trick on me. <laughs> huh? Shiver me whiskers! <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face! <laughs> Dolphins, what's the big idea? Playing tricks on me while I'm... Oh, we were just playing around. What are you doing here anyway? Want to play with us? We're blowing bubble rings! Yeah, I'm too busy to play right now. Well, suit yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. There's a pirate here trying to work. That's enough! I can change me colours. Wow. Yeah, parrots can't do that. That's true. And parrots won't clean the algae off your windscreen either. That certainly was a big help. All right then, but we're in a hurry to find some treasure, matey. So you'll have to keep up. Whoa, my first day as a trusty pirate sidekick. And I get to search for treasure. <laughs> Let's go, parrotfish Pete. What do you think these pointy things are? I wish I knew. I'll swim ahead and find out for you, mateys. Ahoy, mateys! This reef be full of sharp, jagged edges and narrow passageways. I think your ship is too big to fit through it. But according to the map, we have to go through it to find the treasure. Then we'll leave the gup here and swim the rest of the way. I wonder what these squiggly lines are. Are we going in there? What's that? And that! And that! Now we know what those squiggly lines on the map are. Eels! Aye! Moray eels! These waters are full of them, matey! And look at their sharp teeth. Ah! Oh, but we have to get past them to find the treasure. How are we going to do that? I can get us past them, me hearties. How? Moray eels like to eat parrotfish. But we have a way of protecting ourselves from them. Ah. First, I cover myself in a bubble. Ah. The eels can't see very well. And this bubble makes it so they can't smell me either. Which means they leave you alone. Very clever. That might be fine for you, but we can't make bubbles, me hearty. Oh, I'll make them for you. Octonauts, let's do this. can smell peso. Peso! This way. Quick, in there. Quasi, bubble block. It worked. They can't smell peso anymore. We're safe now. Phew. Pete, we never would have made it without your protective bubbles. Ah, it was nothing. Parrotfish Pete, any pirate will be proud to call you his sidekick. Ah, thanks, Quasi. That's enough! Come here, little fish. Oh. Huh? Hank? Is that you? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. So, 
Hank, that wasn't a shark you saw in the water. It was just the Gub B, one of our ships that looks like a shark. <laughs> Are you sure? I promise, it really is safe to come out. Well, okay. Just a second. My fin is oh a bit stuck in here. Oh. When I get scared, a fin goes up on my back and locks me into my hiding place. Just relax. Let your fin go down. All right. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> Thanks, Peso. And uh, sorry about um, squirting you back back there. That's okay. But we have to get the rest of your friends to come out of their hiding places before one of them gets hurt. Can you help us? Absolutely. I'll just tell them all that it's safe. Great. Thank you, Hank. Hello in there. It's me, Hank. <laughs> There's no shark. You can come out now. I want to come out, but I can't. My fin is stuck. I'm stuck too. Oh, oh, me too. Oh, come oh, oh, yeah. oh. I can't move. Uh-oh. Come on, Hank. Captain. What is it, Peso? We've got a problem. The Humuhumus can't seem to leave the octopod. They're stuck in the pipes. Aye. Whenever we get close to the little fishies, they dive back into the pipes and wedge themselves in even deeper. But what can we do? None of us are small enough to climb in there and pull them out. That's it. We'll flush them out. We're going to flush all the toilets. Not just the toilets, Quasi. If we can push even more water through the pipes at the same time, it might flush the humuhumus out. And they can ride the wave out into the ocean. Yow! Octonauts, let's do this. OK, everyone, are you all ready? Yes, sir. Sure thing, Cap. At the ready. Hi, matey. Ready to flush. Ready when you are, Captain. Me too. OK, Octonauts. And now, Dashi, empty the water cooler. <sighs> Quasi, run the water. Yes. Tunip, turn on the hose. <laughs> Tweak, Inkling, empty the tanks. <laughs> Peso, empty the sick bay tank. See you back in the ocean, Hank. Will do. See you soon, Peso. Tweak, empty the launch bay tank. <laughs> Most of the humuhumas are still stuck. What did I forget? Ah! Shellington, flush the toilet now. <laughs> Now, Ray, if you just make one of your nice big zaps, the electricity will go through the wire, recharge the battery, and give power to the octopod. Ready? Ready! All stand clear. Electricity is dangerous. <laughs> uh, must be a little nervous. Let me try that again. Take your time. Okay, here I go. Nothing to it. Ah. Huh? <sighs> uh. Well, I guess I can only make really big zaps when something scares me or when I'm eating. Oh, yum! Oh, it's working! Mm. Oh, nice and crunchy. We torpedo rays always zap our food before we eat it. Oh, still not enough electricity, I guess. Sorry. Oh, it's not your fault, Ray. I was just really looking forward to seeing my friend. Hey, listen, I've got some friends too. Other electric torpedo rays. Maybe they can help. If one torpedo ray can make enough electricity to light up one room... A bunch of torpedo rays might be able to light up the whole octopod. 
And they do seem to like the Vegemals fish biscuits. Keep it coming, Junip. Come on, guys. Dinner is served. Nice and crunchy. And these fish biscuits taste great toasted. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, I'm starving. Nice and crunchy. It's working. The electricity from their zapping is going through the wire right into the octopod. Oh, yeah, great. Oh, wow. Almost there. Just a few more zaps. I knew we could. Oh, hey, watch it, man. That watch it, my dude. Hey, watch it, will ya? All right, get out of my way, man. Hey, easy, guys. The octopod's going to fall over the edge. Hey, watch out, Torpedo rays, look out! Oh. Sorry. I've got to get to the controls. <laughs> Looks like you could use a lift. <gasps> Sandy! Nice to see you again, Sandy. Hop on. Aim for the octo hatch. Got it. You have to jump for it! <laughs> A little polar bat strength! Hey! Octonauts! The octopod is back in action. Yeah! 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 Astronauts! Oh, we need a shelter to keep the chicks warm. And we need it fast. Bandages. Bandages? Quasi, throw me bandage rolls as fast as you can. Ready? Aye, oh, but go! Everyone, inside the tent! <laughs> this is so exciting! I don't want to go inside and miss the big storm! Rocco, it's too cold for you out here, matey! Oh, all right! <laughs> that ought to do it! Nice and cosy! Right, Rocco? Where's Rocco? If he's not in here, then he's out there. I'm going after him. Rocco! Rocco! <laughs> Rocco! Not that 
iceberg again. How will we get home, Captain? Don't worry. The Gulf Sea was built to break through ice. <laughs> Penguins, this could get bumpy. Ha <laughs> ha!